All right, here we go again. We got a little treat here. We've got an Archambeau 35 um, at, at Annapolis, and it's the first time really that it's been in the States. Um, we've got a bunch of guys who are importing them and selling them out of Nova Scotia, as well as some of the French representatives here to talk to us about the boat. It's a sexy boat. You guys on Anarchy have seen the boat do well in you know various places and a lot of big races. Um, and now they're uh, they're gonna give it give it a shot here in North America. So Philippe uh, Paturel from Archambault, tell us a little bit about um, what you guys are doing with uh, the 40 and the 35 here. Well, the, the 35 first. This is a boat that we uh, we bring to Newport in June in order to campaign her, you know, and get the uh, the brand better known in North America. So we start basically in a rush in Newport by. Uh, by commissioning the boat and uh, and actually winning the Outer Island race and uh, and had some great results the weekend after so uh, that was our, our first goal and uh, with the 40 we just received the 40 two weeks ago uh, in New York and uh, we sell her down here and uh, the, the the goal is to uh, to show to the people what the Archambault uh, two newest uh, boats uh, specifically designed for IRC uh, look like I mean the 35 uh, we built already over over 100 and 10 or 20 of these uh, since uh, 2006 and 2007. So 120 in, in, in two and a half years. Yeah, roughly, yeah. And, um, and they all do great in IRC. I mean, uh, not now only... Where are the majority of them sailing? The majority is still sail in Europe, but we also have some very good boats in, uh, in Australia, in New Zealand, and, uh, and uh, I'm hoping that we're going to get more in North America. I would say they kind of even have a New Zealand boat look. They kind of have a Kiwi sport boat look to them. You know, I know they're I know they're not, but they they, they, they they're really I think they're sexy boats. You know, what what are, what do people say about their looks so far? Well, I should Here. I, I should say that everything that is French is generally sexy, so I hope it is the case <laughs> with the two boats. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the New Zealander. There, I've got good friends down there also. But, uh... <laughs> well, give us a, give us some little highlights of the 35. Um, well, uh, tell us what's what are, what are some neat features about the boat. Uh, this one actually that is shown, it's uh, it's it's coming with the carbon package, including the mast and not the boom. The boom is still an aluminum boom, and uh, generally the. Um, the, uh, the basic boat is coming with a tiller, but for uh, North America, we decided to uh, to, uh, to show the boat with a carbon wheel, which is, in my opinion, a, a good option. At least it is not a drawback. Uh, the wheel is uh, extremely sensitive. I mean, you drive this boat like a laser, basically. So that's that's interesting, and um, and it's also good because when you go for an offshore, you know, over 100 miles or 400 miles, I mean, you can stand up and helm the boat and move your legs a little bit. So that's a little plus. The other things, I mean, I think one, one of the main advantages is that the way that you see the boat, this is a base standard boat ready to race. It's coming with a racing pack included, and uh, you don't have a lot of... Um... So just some things that, that stand out at me. You guys, it, it seems like it's all Lumar and Ronstan package just about. Exactly, yeah. This is, uh, this is coming standard with the boat. And uh, same thing for the, uh, for the Spectra sheets. It's a master type or, or equivalent. Uh, and, uh, and also same thing for the electronic, I mean we have a PNG package uh, which is delivered and, and uh, installed at the yard in France by the PNG people and we are offering a three year warranty on the electronic which is nice. So when you look at the inolers for instance, I mean it's basic, it's coming with the boat. It uh, looks like a pretty well sorted out package. I guess I guess you guys have developed a nice package after racing it in France so much, yeah? And yeah, in Europe and, in general. I mean, you've got a factory team, correct? Exactly, uh, kind of, I should say, but Archambault, so you know, it's, it's a yard that is existing since 1954. And uh, we are building roughly 150 to 180 boats a year, sometimes a little bit more. But, I mean, the manager and the owners of Archambault, are, are, their, their motto is to get some sailors and some racers to promote the brand. So they really uh, listen to the feedback from the racers in order to modify little things, little details that you might be forced to do on another boat by yourself. I mean, we try to push as, as, as far as that in order to get your boat ready to race. All right, so, I mean, you know, this, it, it really is, is about as, you know, if you, if you go, well, what do I need on a race boat? You've got every single thing you need. Um, well sorted, you've got nice jib in haulers and a really trick little bang system and um, German main sheet system. Um, and you can see little touches. You know, the never uh, ending tennis is, balls, this they is work. The tennis ball, yeah. They work. <laughs> but you see all the Ron Stan gear. What's your, where does your rope come from? Uh, what what uh, what brand of rope are you using, or is it just whatever? It's Mafioli generally. Got a carbofoil up here. Carbofoil, I think carbofoil. Got 
I guess two. This is the tack line for the uh, A kite. That's the tack. So they, so you run you run um, uh, A kites off the masthead halyard. Yep. And then you run uh, uh, symmetric heights off the pole, off the uh, off the pounds halyard. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, actually we have a masthead uh, symmetrical uh, kite, a fractional symmetrical, and a masthead A kite also that we use on the standard pole on this boat particularly. You know, getting the pole on top of the pulpit down there, and it's really a big plus in light here. Right. Uh, you can go over at 50 degrees of the wind and uh, you know just generate your own apparent and, and go from there. It's a big plus and it's not over penalizing in terms of IRC as, a, as an what example. Is, what is the boat rating right now under PERF and under IRC? Uh, this one is a uh, rating uh, as a TCC of 1.033 and uh, PHRF New England uh, we are 69 and uh, 66 with the A-Kite. Okay. And, and what is she like um, downwind? I mean is this a boat that's going to get up out of the water and really start charging? or? Well, if you want, if you want to try, you'd better push air because we never, we never did. We were <laughs> looking for it. Now it's extremely stable. I mean, and even if you broach, I mean, it, in less than 15 seconds, you're back to the track. It can happen, you know. But, what, uh, what is the total displacement of the boat? Uh, it's a little bit under uh, 9600 uh, pounds. Okay. Yeah. Sort of a medium weight boat. Yeah, and the ratio between the ballast and the, it's, and the weight is uh, 48 persons, so it's quite a good number. Really? But you know, standard keel, no bulb, uh, yeah. just classical keel, which is uh, which is actually extremely efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think she's really beautiful. I think both boats are really, they're distinctive, but I think they look they look great. And it's you guys obviously have had a lot of success around the world, and we yeah. certainly hope to see you do the same here. It's nice to see some uh, some new blood on the scene. You know what I mean. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now the, the Ford, it's also a Joubert and Nivelt Mercier design. So the same designer, and uh, it's an extrapolation of the 35, but uh, a lot more powerful, a lot uh, slightly different, but it looked the same. You're right. Yeah. We've and and now both boats are are set up with bulkheads and everything for a sprit, correct? Yeah. Uh, no, the the 40 we can had uh, the bulkheads for the sprit. Uh, as you can see there, you don't have it on it, but I mean, uh, for instance, uh, one of our customers in UK asked for it and we had it on the on the side, and not exactly the same type and same style. Whereas here, this boat is not equipped with it yet, but you can see um, that it's all set for it to go in. And I think the, the decision whether to do that or not is really a ratings decision and, and about the wind where you are, I guess. Exactly, right? yeah. So, um, uh, give us some prices. The A35 landed in North America. I mean, top notch with uh, the full carbon, the full electronic, uh, ready to go. Uh, it's about 300 grand US duty paid, uh, delivered in the uh, Annapolis area. Uh, you can go a little bit over that if you want some other options, uh, which are more cruising options, you know, like, uh, like but I don't think it's worth. And, uh, and otherwise, if you start with a base boat uh, with uh, aluminum uh, mast, you are around two, uh, 240. And what about the 40? The 40, uh, as it is now, with the full carbon boom rig, uh, this one is actually just a little bit under $500,000. Uh, again, with the full H3000 from BAD Electronic install at the year, three years warranty. We are offering also, uh, and I think this is important to mention, a two years warranty on a rig and hull. And we've got three years on the electronic, three years on our engines, uh, built by Nani Diesel, and two years on the small electronics, such as VHF, etc. So, and uh, actually, I mean, you should find a customer to come to the boat show because we're going to offer a 10% discount, so we can save uh, 50 grand on the 40, which is a good deal. I well, think. I think yeah. the, I think you know what? If they mention this video when they call you, will you give them the discount if it's next week? Well, it's over to the end of the show. It's a 10% discount, <laughs> and another week for with 7%, and until the end of October, we are offering 5%. So All right, guys. So you'll see this video on Monday. So you get 7% off if you uh, call up <laughs> Philippe and tell him you saw this video. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are going to be uh, you're going to have a, a factory, a works team in Key West. Is that right? Yeah, we are going to campaign a 14 Key West with the in-house uh, racing team and uh, and some customers also that will come with us. And we presently have uh, 235 and 240, uh, two of them are here today. The other ones are waiting at the yard and could be shipped in, in the U.S. Uh, within two weeks. Awesome. And uh, our, basically a 35, it's, it's basically a month delay or two month delay maximum, uh, but we can do it in a month. And well, probably look, a 120 more boats already of, of these 35s, you got to yeah. be ready to go, right? Yeah, we've got three of each on the chain at the factory uh, when the demand is there, you know, so... Uh, Again, All right. Well, look, Philippe, I'm running out of time here, but thank you. Thanks a lot. Good luck in QS. I'm sure we'll see you. I hope.